Hello everyone, I am Shristi, an agriculturist and today I am here with a video to enhance your sector learning. Post lockdown, many of us would be sitting for an interview, either to get a job or admissions for higher studies. Wondering what the questions could possibly be? So, apart from the general question, I am presenting few possible ones that could be asked. So, we will be looking forward to the following questions and discuss each one of these. The first question goes, Despite of almost no restrictions to agriculture sector, the farmers faced problems. Tell us how and why. This question may judge your awareness towards sector reality. As we know, the agricultural supply chain was exempted from the nationwide lockdown. Still, the farmers had to either throw their produce or sell at very low price. Why? Because there was a fall in demand. For example, most of the bulk contracts that used to come from Horeca were kept on hold. Here, Horeca refers to hotels, restaurants and caterings. Next reason is nearly banned exports. In the next question, I will discuss why here I am saying nearly banned and not completely banned. The above reasons have created an oversupply of agricultural produce with the farmers. And therefore we can see the demand has decreased whereas the supply has increased. So the prices are low. Travel restrictions have restricted the farmers from going to Mondays. As we know, most of the Indian farmers are either marginal or small. So all these enable the traders to put psychological pressure on the farmers to sell their produce at their minimum prices since the farmers neither have sufficient storage space nor have the window to bear the financial burden for long. Unavailability of public transport. This is also a reason why farmers can't travel to Mondays. The last one I have mentioned is unavailability of operators to operate machineries like tractors, harvesters, threshers, etc. This results in delay of harvesting and sowing of the crops. The answer to this question ends here and now let's move to the next question. Mention of new activities in agriculture sector which were exempted from the restrictions during the nationwide lockdown. This question may judge your general awareness. So, the orders issued by the Home Ministry exempted food processing units such as bread factories, milk processing plants, flour mills, dal mills, etc. located in urban areas. Inter interstate movement of planting materials and honeybee colonies, honey and other beehive products. Forest offices, forestry plantation and related activities including silviculture operations. Facilities for export or import such as pack houses, inspection and treatment facilities for seeds and horticulture produce, research establishments dealing with the agriculture and horticulture activities. Hope you got your answer for why did I say nearly banned, not completely banned. Next, you can see I have highlighted forest offices and pack houses here. This is for a purpose. Saying these, a cross question may be thrown back at you. Let's check what are these. The first one is what are packing houses? A packing house is a facility where fruits are received and processed prior to distribution to the market. Bulk fruits such as apples, oranges, pear are delivered to the plant via trucks or wagons where these are dumped into receiving bins and sorted for quality and size. These are the examples. Now the next one is 
the question may be asked to you can you give a recent and highly talked of example where forest officers were seen active amid lockdown so let me remind you of a case where the jammu and kashmir government had ordered to ax 42000 trees to check the spread of virus the kashmir administration in a memo dated 2nd april 2020 has ordered lopping and felling off of 42000 female russian poplar trees planted by the government's social forestry department what are russian poplars russian poplars the scientific name populus deltoides also known as north american cotton tree it is known to grow faster than the other original varieties of poplar in the valley and thus is very popular among the local growers so what is different with the russian poplar it is the pollen you can see these pollens you must have seen this these pollens before so the pollens of russian poplars were considered to be the potential carrier of virus which is contradictory to the statements of many of the medical experts the medical experts say that there is no evidence that the pollen can transmit the virus let's take a look at the allergies caused by pollens in kashmir a study made by the government medical college shrinagar in 2017 found that the pollen of russian poplars can cause allergic reactions in less than 20% of the population whereas the pollens of common grass are likely to cause around 73.5% of allergic reactions so do let me know your views on this in the comment section moving forward to our final question and the most important one how did you utilize your time and what contributions did you make to your career during the lockdown i want you to answer this for yourself if you aren't getting any appropriate and considerable points then friend don't waste your time pull up your socks and get into the race hope you liked this video i'll be back with more videos till then bye have a good day and thank you